Okay, so this is the control box for the semi-automatic uh, vacuum pouring machine that I built. Um, basically, uh, this controls the entire sequence of making this uh, vacuum pouring machine automated. Um, so on the front, you have your buttons. You have your start button, up, down. This controls the time. And this one actually controls the, uh, the amount of heat coming out of the heating element. Um, on the inside, uh, you can see the brains of the operation, the Arduino. You can see the .NET Gadgeteer uh, relay. Uh, this relay controls the on-off positions of the uh, vacuum and the heater. And over here, uh, this is basically just a large rheostat. And that uh, is the for the knob in the front, um, controlling the amount of heat that the heating elements give off. Uh, I haven't installed those yet, um, but I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of basically how this works um, and the sequences that it steps through. So I'm just going to set the timer down really low for this demonstration. Uh, I'll turn everything on and I will press the start button. Uh, so when I press the start button right away, um, you'll notice in the background the motors uh, will basically um, turn those screws and which the platform's not uh, bolted up yet but you'll see the platform uh, basically it'll move into the down position uh, so I'll press start so the platform will move to the down position and you'll see the indicating LED turn on uh, saying that the heater is basically turned on at this point so this would be heating up the plastic and then you'll see once the plastic has been heated, the platform will be moved up uh, to basically press the mold into the um, plastic. And the LED is switched again, so the vacuum turns on and it sucks out all of the air uh, around the mold. And the vacuum will stay on for a determined period of time, say 30 seconds. And once that's turned off, the LED will turn off. Um, indicating that the vacuum has been turned off and then the sequence uh, will have been completed. So there you go. That's sort of just a quick rundown of how this works. Um, and from there, uh, once that's done, the sequence is done, I can remove the plastic off the mold and then I can use the manual buttons over here uh, to move the platform up or down, change the mold, whatever. Um, so say I were to move the platform down, by pressing the button, there you go, the platform will be moved down. And if for whatever reason I wanted to move it back up, I can do that as well just by holding the button. So that's pretty much it. Gives you a quick idea of how this works. Um, the rat's nest of wiring will be cleaned up. Uh, that's just to get things running for now. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.